Well, speaking of the eggnog dance, we're gonna make turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Last good feast, you handled the turkey. I and you made did. Oh my gosh, it was a total beaut. <laughs> but I wanted to switch things up a little bit. So as opposed to doing a whole bird, we are gonna do my pancetta wrapped oh. turkey roulade. Oh. Super oh. easy to carve, it's totally delicious. It's stuffed with beautiful stuffing. So that's the first thing I need to get to work on. So ladies, are you ready to tear some bread? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This, was, yeah. <laughs> this was my job as a kid. I would sit in front of the TV and watch like The Grinch Who Stole Christmas and tear up some bread. So basically you want some stale bread and just tear it into good little chunks. We need about four to five cups. So you guys are doing that. Thank well, you. I got a head start. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't worry. That was me last night while I was watching Frosty. Uh, we're good to go. So now I'm going to get to work on some flavoring. To be honest, in my family, we do love a plain stuffing, but every once in a while we like to jazz it up. So I've got a pan here over something. medium heat, and I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of butter. So butter, always a good thing at the holidays, totally delish. And into there, I'm gonna add in one red onion that I've diced up. Oops. You could do, also do like a yellow onion, if you got yeah. that like bag and that weird yeah. yellow fishnet thing. <laughs> fishnet onions. Fishnet onions. <laughs> they work really nicely too, but I like the color of the red onion mm. and the little mm. bit of like spice kind of yeah. situation. Yeah. And I've also got two stalks of diced celery that I'm adding into, and to be honest, this is like a classic for me. Celery, onion, butter. Usually it's swimming in butter. Yeah. Swimming. If you want, uh, you know. Swimming. swimming. <laughs> it's got a little life, life vests on yeah. and we're good yeah. to go. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a toss just to bring everything together. And into there, I'm gonna season that up with a little bit of sage. So I've got one and a half tablespoons of yeah, chopped sage. You could also do dry. You could use um, poultry seasoning if you wanted to. Yeah, that would lovely. work. And into there, I'm also gonna add in, ooh, this is my little trick, a cinnamon stick. Very lovely. Yeah. I know, it sounds weird, but it's not gonna make it taste like a cinnamon bun. It's just gonna give you a little bit of cinnamony kind of perfume mm -hmm. throughout this stuffing. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I would cook that down for about five minutes. Once that's cooked down, I'd rasp in three cloves of garlic. Now, are we all on the same page? Yeah, yes. can what? never have enough? Can never have enough garlic. <laughs> and, and, so, and last. Yeah. Put it in last. Put it in last, because burnt onion, honestly not a bad flavor. No. Mm -hmm. Burnt yeah. garlic? Mm, no. no, no, not Very having better. it. Not no. having it. This is smelling already so and, good. And I need to know, Mary, on this show, the cloves of garlic are so They're huge. huge. <laughs> Where are we going to be? Our garlic vendor <laughs> is like a monster. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. All right, so I'm going to stir that up, and then I'm going to add in my good friend Andrea Bucket's favorite ingredient. Mustard. Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a tablespoon of grainy Dijon for that Ooh. little pop. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna add that on into the pan as well. And this is just gonna flavor mm. everything up. Now, for a little bit of texture and sweetness, I've also got a quarter cup. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, a quarter cup. I remember my recipe. Wow. <laughs> of chopped dried cranberries. That's gonna give a little bit of brightness into yeah, here. Right. And then for mm -hmm. some protein, about a third of a cup of chopped pecans. Those Love are going in too. Yes. Now you can also amp up those pecans if you want to. You could use the walnuts if you got some okay. leftover from that okay. pate. So many nuts already. Well, so yeah. many nuts. Yeah. We're, so nuts. Many. We're nutty. I know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's looking beautiful. Now at this point, I would deglaze this pan with about a half a cup of dry white wine. That's gonna bring in some acidity. Mm, yeah. Also, if you didn't wanna use wine, you could use just a tablespoon of vinegar, just like a, an apple cider or a white Ooh, wine nice. vinegar. Then you set that aside and let that cool. And this is what that looks like. Get rid of that cinnamon stick though. That's the color, color is so gorgeous. I know, yeah. it cooks down absolutely beautifully. Into this bowl, please. Yes. Okay. Mary has to occupy us. I think. <laughs> I do. <laughs> God, it's like it's like uh, babysitting my butt. Yeah. 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 All right, there we go. All right, perfect. And now I'm adding in this cooled mixture. Now, what I want to do at this point is add in something that's going to bind everything together. Because mm. first stuffing, you want it to kind of stick together a little mm. bit. So I've got one egg that I'm just going to crack, and I'm also going to add in about a three quarters of a cup to one cup of broth. Now, if you wanted to do this vegetarian, use a veggie stock or a broth. If you want to do it meaty, just a chicken and you're good to yeah. go. Okay. Now, you could double this recipe as well, mix that together and make mm. it into like a nice little veg main on the side. Mm. We're gonna stir this together, but when we come back, I promised you turkey. We're gonna get to that turkey. Yes. <laughs> We're waiting. Yeah. Yeah. My boss, Andrea, Vijaya, Tanisha, Evelyn and I are helping me make the most delicious holiday feast with some fresh new ideas that I hope you're gonna love. Right now, I'm working on my pancetta wrapped turkey roulade. Ooh. Can we hear a cheers yeah. to that? Yeah. Cheers yeah. to that. Yes. Again, this nog, I'm loving it so much. It's tasty. Also, I love that all of these drinks have been non-alcoholic, so mm. we are on our game for making this turkey. <laughs> so far. So far. 
far mm -hmm. focused, yes. <laughs> so far. Okay, so I promised you turkey. We've got that beautiful stuffing all done. It's mm. looking great. So now I'm gonna get to work on the turkey. Now we are wrapping this in pancetta. Yes, so, we are. Which is always a good thing. Listen, if you buy a turkey breast, it's a great way to get a smaller roast. Super mm. easy to carve as well, but it doesn't have that skin on there all the time. Mm. So you want a little bit of crispy golden brown action. Yes, nice. you do, yeah. Yeah, 100%. So I've got 200 <laughs> grams of pancetta here that's thinly sliced. And I also have a little bit of plastic wrap. I'm really pointing with these babies. Yeah. <laughs> plastic wrap down with some butcher's twine. So Vijaya yes. and Andrea, can you lay out like a like a grid of pancetta? Like a quilt of Like a pancetta? quilt of pancetta oh. <laughs> that we're gonna wrap this turkey breast in. No, sure I'll help. <laughs> I love this. If you've never seen like a turkey that. breast before, not on a turkey, it's just a giant chicken breast. Yeah. It's huge. Like, look at this baby. Oh, Honestly, perfect. there's a story in my family um, that one time, my whole family got sick, my mom made a whole turkey, and uh, I looked at it, she put it down on the table, and I said to her, um, I don't like that big chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then no one ate the turkey. So, uh, don't worry, we've got a, we got a real turkey fan over here. We Evelyn, love that. Love <laughs> obsessed. Turkey. Okay, perfect. So we've got a turkey breast here. This recipe calls for two. I'm just gonna show you with one. So there's always a little filet on there, similar to a chicken breast. Mm -hmm. But then this side is always a little thicker. So mm -hmm. we wanna flatten it out and even it a bit. So what I like to do is just grab a knife and kind of just cut in and open it up so it's nice and kind of flat. Basically you're making like Again, like a mat of turkey <laughs> to go on your mat of pancetta. You make that sound so appealing. It's very <laughs> appealing, but it, honestly, it comes together. It is the most yeah. beautiful mm -hmm. thing in the world. So we've got this turkey, and I'm just gonna pop this over on top of that beautiful pancetta mat that you Someone's guys made. Someone's been okay. working out. I know, very strong. <laughs> very, that's a big, big turkey breast. <laughs> so doing that, does that help it cook? Like even? Super yeah, evenly, okay. really yeah, nice and evenly. So that's looking great. Now, would you guys season that with a little bit of salt and pepper for sure. me? Sure, I'll pass done, that on over. Salt and peps. Thank there you, you go. Thank you. We got that turkey yeah. breath looking there good. Go. Okay, this is looking delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Now I'm gonna add that beautiful stuffing that we made right on top of there. So I'm gonna use my hands because we're gonna get it right on into that beautiful turkey. Yum. So if you have any leftover, you can just put this into a baking dish mm. and pop it aside. But basically you want a nice Ooh. little mound Ooh. of that beautiful stuffing right on the inside. Oh, like so like every piece is gonna have a bit of stuffing, oh, a bit nice. of meat. Yeah, a little mm. bit of pancetta. Oh, mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. Feeling good about it. Now, essentially what you wanna do is roll this baby back up. So what I'm gonna do is use that little bit Ooh. of plastic wrap, and you just kinda wanna roll it together. The tuck and roll, It's everyone. the tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck and roll. And you then, this, Mary. can oh. y'all help me with this <laughs> Christmas <laughs> present? This is very handy if you've got a couple friends to tie those knots. There we go. Oh, okay. yeah. we, we got, got one. Watch your, your finger. Like. I got it. Got it. This is also All my right, roll. There we go. Oh, love it. Love it. Perfect. I think it crisscrossed, but that's yeah. Okay. Crisscross is good. Crisscross is good. Okay. Okay. One we're, more. We're, we're part way there. Okay. We're almost there. Crisscross applesauce. Listen, I have done this on my own, but is it easier with two friends? Yes. And so much more fun. And so much more fun. All right. There we go. So we use that plastic for a little bit of help, and then basically you just roll that baby over. And even though it looked oh like a mess, God. it Come now on. looks like a nice little yeah. roast. So grab that baby, and I'm just gonna pop that onto a baking pan. Get rid of that really long Extra string. string. Here's okay. scissors. scissors. Here we go. Perfect. Let now, would you guys work. pop a little bit of, uh, oh wait, we all gotta go wash our hands now, because we're all turkey. Oh, yes, turkey. <laughs> guys, just a sec, we gotta wash. Wait, would you put some oil on there and some yeah, salt and pepper? Sure. Sure. Thanks, Tanisha, <laughs> we got it, we got it. All right. You're nailing I it. I won't overdo it. Wait, don't oh, yeah. no, Keep do. washing, keep washing. Keep washing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Okay, so now we just pop this into my 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. That's gonna nice. give us a little bit of crisp on mm. the outside. Then we're gonna drop that temperature down to 325. Let that go for another hour. That's all it takes to give you a perfectly cooked, beautiful turkey roulade. Mm. After it comes out of the oven, you let it rest for about 10 minutes. Oh, the suspense is killing me. I know, and you end up, get ready for the easiest turkey ever to carve, this little oh. baby. Oh. But I just gotta yeah. show you what oh the inside gosh. of this baby oh, looks like. Stop. That yeah. little bit of stuffing in every single slice. This on a sandwich the next I was day. Going to say. Yes, bread yeah. on bread. It is so good. Go, go, go a little wider for me. Wider, bigger? Oh, okay, 
we got it. I mean, this yeah. looks amazing. We gotta take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We got more food coming up. Yeah. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.